Hello. Today in the A to Z series of healthy foods and healthy living and eating, uh, we've arrived at the letter I. Now I is, well, it's very underrepresented represented in, uh, in the food kingdom. Uh, all I've got for you is ice cream and Indian food. And Indian food is a whole, a whole load of food. Um, but it's worth talking about both of those briefly. Um, and what, we'll, what this will do is give us an opportunity to talk about another I which is crucial to, to health and, 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 and so on, which is your immune system. Uh, firstly, ice cream. Now, when I, many years, 14 years ago, I changed my diet um, and, and my health changed um, to go with it. Um, and one of the things that I was uh, um, suggested I, I give up was dairy. Now, I used to love the old Magnum ice creams, and of course that was milk, so that was dairy, so that was gone. Um, and so ice creams were gone from my life, um, whereas living in a hot country, ice creams are very nice to have. But it turns out that ice creams, uh, generally speaking, uh, are a, a food that's not good for you because uh, they fill them with, with a mixture of dairy and sugar, both of which um, are not necessarily healthy for you. Dairy depends on the various factors, but, um, but m more importantly, it's a very cold food and cold uh, and icy stuff uh, um, suppresses or, or, or uh, makes the digestive fire struggle. It's like pouring water on a fire. So uh, be careful of having too many ice creams in your diet, perhaps even give them up altogether for a while. Um, now Indian food is, uh, I love Indian food and coming from England uh, that was probably our first sort of major uh, foreign food to come into the land. Uh, Indian food, uh, full of uh, fresh produce, spices and herbs, um, lots of vegetables, all, all kinds of things. Um, uh, so I think good Indian food is, is definitely healthy for you. Um, now, what I really want to talk about is the immune system. Uh, now, officially speaking, this includes things like the white blood cells, the, uh, the various uh, bits and pieces in your body. Uh, but I, I, I look at it as, uh, for me, it's about understanding um, the connection between food itself and, uh, and our, our own body. Uh, and in fact, what I say about food and our body is the same for the mind uh, and the food that we consume from media, um, from other people, from books, from the internet and so on. But we're going to talk about food. Um, the immune system is like, uh, is that, that its job is to protect you. Um, so if any toxins come inside you or any heavy metals or pollution or whatever, the immune systems, it's the immune system's job to clean, to clean it out. Um, and you know, for me, when I think about the immune system, whether this is technically correct or not, doesn't really matter. Uh, it's all about, um, you, feeding the immune system or helping the immune system to, to lessen its workload. That's what I always think of. Um, so the liver and the blood and the lymph system are the things that I think about. Uh, the liver, lots of organs, there's liver, kidneys, pancreas, heart, lungs, and so on, um, spleen. But with the liver, uh, this, it, the liver's job is to detoxify all the rubbish coming into your body. So if you're eating a lot of Big Macs, you're living in a, in a polluted city, um, and uh, you're getting in lots of heavy metals, you're eating processed foods which is full of INS numbers on the ingredients, which are the old E numbers, and these are all chemicals and toxins. If you're getting a whole load coming into you, then your immune system is, is active and, and under a heavy workload. Now, if it's just one day out of a month, no big deal, the immune system will deal with it and, and, and recover the next day. But if you're constantly, um, triggering your immune system to do a lot of work, then you, you are, you're, you're going to get sick, you're going to get ailments, you're going to get constipation, you're going to get diarrhea, you're going to get skin problems, you're going to get uh, all kinds of ailments uh, when you're young. And if you continue to attack your immune system and give it too much work, as the years go by, these little ailments turn into more chronic ones where you might get a headache uh, all the time or frequently. Um, and uh, you know the ailments have moved up a notch and then of course another 10 years goes by and now it's diabetes or 
cancer or you get a stroke or heart attack and that's the way it works. So in order to uh, live in a healthy manner and to have wellness in your life and to have a, a mind with clarity and to feel lots of energy and to wake up in the morning feeling alive, um, just think about your immune system. So if you're eating all these healthy foods that I've been mentioning, you know, um, by the each letter, and there's plenty more to come, uh, and you restrict the toxic foods, which often are the ones that your tongue likes, um, then you're, 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 you're laughing. Um, it's not about just only eating healthy foods and keeping away from all the cheesecakes and all those other things that you might like. It's a question of balance. Um, when I changed my diet, I, I, I did go, you know, I, it was get rid of pork and it was get rid of dairy products. Uh, but still, you know, there was a lot of exciting foods. But what I found was that my tongue started to get retrained. So foods that previously seemed a little bit boring started to become uh, more tasty. And then after a while, sugar, which was the big one I was giving up, was far too sweet. So I think the body adjusts. Um, to any change in diet in time. Um, it's a question of using your willpower over your tongue initially. Um, but if you just think, if you have the mindset and if you have the, the concept of, uh, of the immune system and that it's your immune system that looks after you and gives you a quality of life and a quantity of life depending on how much work you give it. So another thing about the immune system, um, and sometimes I think about it as, you know, they equate it to an army, if you like, maybe in the old days protecting a castle. Um, if you're constantly eating healthy foods and you're nothing bad's coming into you, then your immune system might sort of get a bit lazy. It might have no work to do. So perhaps sometimes it's good to have a blowout um, and uh, to, to remind your immune system that it's got work to do and to keep it on its toes. Uh, if you had a thousand soldiers and they never had any work to do, um, then uh, they may get a bit uh, rusty um, and lose their skills. So, yeah, just look at your immune system as your personal protection. Um, feed your body a lot more healthy foods and a lot more healthy uh, uh, information and ideas coming from media and books and other people um, than uh, bad stuff. If you eat a McDonald's every day, smoke five cigarettes every day, drink two Cokes every day, uh, listen to the news every day, you're on a bad path and you're probably not watching these videos anyway. Um, so there you go, that's the immune system. Uh, the next time around I'm going to be, it'll be J, and J's pretty thin on the ground as well, so I'm going to do J and K together, and there's a couple of interesting drinks to come up in the K. But meanwhile, if you enjoy my videos, please uh, help me spread my, uh, my uh, new learning empire, of which this is one wing. Um, I want the healing of humankind to, to, to take place as a counter to uh, the calamity that humanity is in today. So subscribe to my channel, click on, on the like button, uh, leave a comment for me because this boosts all the algorithms in YouTube and gets me viewed. Um, okay, meanwhile, I'll bid you a, a very happy day wherever you are in the world. Um, and just remember, take care of your liver, take care of your blood, take care of your lymph system. Uh, lymph system, one last word, uh, blood has a pump. So it pumps its way, your heart pumps it all over the body, but the lymph system has no such pump uh, and will remain stagnant and static if you don't move. And this leads to constipation. So if you want uh, to get rid of constipation, and that's essential you do, move. And that means stretching. It doesn't mean running 15 miles every day, pounding the urban streets. It just means moving, stretching, yoga, uh, gentle exercise, jumping up and down on a, on a rebounder, walking. Walking is fantastic for moving the lymph. And your, all your food will digest and it will come out and, uh, and you'll be in good working order. Immune system. Bye bye for now.